In today's lesson, we'll be going over how to use a depth micrometer. This is what a depth micrometer looks like. Um, sometimes in the shop, you might hear it be called a depth mic, uh, a depth gauge, but the technical term for this is a depth micrometer. Um, you obviously use it to measure the depths of blind holes, steps. Um, there's a lot of things you can use this useful tool for. Okay, so now I'm going to do a, a whiteboard representation of how to read a depth mic. I'm doing it on the whiteboard first, uh, just because it's a little bit easier to explain rather than me sitting up here trying to go like this with you. Um, so this scale that you see here represents this scale right here. And what this scale does, um, this is letting you know right here you're at zero and they go by 25 thou increments. So this is 25 thou, that's 50 thou, that's 75 thou, that's 100 thou. One means 100 thousandths and so on and so forth. So here you have 125 thousandths. If I jump here, I'm at 275 thousandths. And now, you know, you have a lot of space in between um, the, the, the lines here. So uh, that's where I made this. Uh, it's not the best rec uh, representation, but this tool here uh, represents the numbers on this, these numbers right here. So this tool here allows you to read in between the lines here. So for example here, what I'm looking for is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start here at zero. I wish I could have this flush with this line here, but I can't. So I'm going to start spinning, at like representing me spinning the depth gauge until I hit my surface. And I'm going to keep going and like, let's say I hit my surface right here. Um, I know I'm past the one, so I know I at least have a hundred thousands. And now I'm looking for whatever number best lines up with this center line here. So here, um, I'm going to say I'm about this three, this number three here. I hope you guys can see that good. Three uh, lines up best with this line. So that's letting me know that I'm three thousands past the 100. So that's telling me I have 103 thousandths. Um, same thing, I keep going, keep going, and boom, I get to, like let's say like right here. Um, I know I'm past the 50 thou mark here, so I know I'm at 150 thousandths at least right there, but I'm past that. And I'll say I got 20 lines up perfectly with this line. So that's letting me know that I'm at 170 thousandths. Um, yeah, chances are if you can see the line that you're looking at, you're not past it. You might be really close to it, but yeah, you're not past it, so. All right, so I just gave the whiteboard uh, presentation there. It was kind of rough, but here I'm gonna give you guys some real examples here, right here on the depth mic. So, I'm going to make an easy one at first here. So here we are. Um, I'm obviously, I'm going to start reading this. I'm going to read this first, this part of the scale first. Um, I'm obviously past zero, but I'm not quite to the 100 thou, the one mark. So that's letting me know I'm somewhere between zero and 100 thou. Um, I can no longer see the, the 25 thou marker line. So and I could kind of see the 50 thou marker line. And so I know I'm right around that 50 thou marker. And then, so after I read this line, I'm gonna come over here and read these numbers. And I got zero, so I'm right at 50 thousands. So, go on to another measurement here. And we'll go, go right there. So I'm obviously past the 100 thou marker line, but I'm not quite to the 200 thou marker line. And I can definitely clearly see that 50 thou marker line. And I can kind of see that 25 thou marker line, so I know I'm going to be kind of close. I'm going to be close to there. So I'm going to take that, and I'm going to take these numbers right here. And I'm reading 22 right there. That's the number that lines, that lines best up with the center line here. So that means if I'm not quite to that uh, 25 thou marker line there, and I know, uh, if you, most of the time, if you can see that marker line, you're not there yet. So um, 
that's going to put me at 122 thousandths. Go to another example here. We'll go right there. All right. So, as you can see, we are right on that 300,000 marker line. We are not quite past it yet, though. So, if you take, we know, if we take that last known number, which is 275 thousandths, we know we've passed in that 75,000 marker line. And we're going to add that 24, which is going to put us right at 99. So, we're at 299 thousandths. Not quite to that 3. Um, if we went here, now we're at that 300,000 marker. Here we have our case for our depth micrometer. Um, it's pretty cool. We have different depth mic rods in here, like right now currently. I have this depth mic is set up to measure anything from one to two inches. Um, you have other ones. Here is my zero to one inch, uh, two to three inches, and so on and so forth. It goes all the way up to six inches. Um, yeah, so for example, if you're measuring uh, a depth where you know it's going to be right around three and a half inches, you want to grab your three to four inch depth mic rod. Um, to, re to change them, all you have to do is unscrew this. Take your rod out and put your desired rod in. I will be taking the zero to one inch. Slide it in there, take your cap here, and put it back on. Um, there you go. You are not quite done yet, though. Before you uh, go here and start taking measurements, you need to uh, calibrate this tool to make sure it's reading accurate numbers. Now to calibrate my depth micrometer here, I need to take a known distance and measure it and make sure that my depth mic is reading my known distance. So I'm going to take a gauge block. I know for a fact that this gauge block here uh, has a width of 500 thousandths or half an inch. So before I begin, I always like to take a set of calipers here and just reassure myself that I got 500 thou here because if you go off of here, you're actually reading 354 thousandths. You know, I want to make sure I'm going off the 500, so it's just letting double check, making sure I'm going off the right surface here. So I'm going to lay that down, going off a nice flat surface, like this granite table, um, going off a table, like a wooden table or anything else, it's not really a good idea. Make sure you, get, you want to know for a fact that your, uh, your surface is flat. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lay this uh, gauge block down. I'm going to slowly start twisting my handle here. Taking a little bit here. I'm going to start getting closer here. And when you're, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you are, um, you're not pressing this too hard. When you get down uh, towards the bottom of the surface here, you want to go light. Like really, really light. And eventually, it'll stop. Like, you know, I'm just going here, I'm just letting my finger barely touch it. And then, I'm going to take this screw back here and tighten it. That's going to stop my uh, depth mic here from rotating so I can uh, reassure my number when I take it off the surface here. And as you can see, I'm not quite reading half an inch. I'm reading about 490 eight thousandths and five tenths but I can fix that that's why we check that I have this nice little wrench here that comes with the depth mic what I'm going to do here 
is there is a hole right there and you take take this part of the tool right here you slide it in to that hole and then what I'm going to do so I'm going to crank on this going the wrong way so I hit zero see right there, I'll drop that I now hit zero so now I have successfully calibrated my depth mic um, it's always good to go back on here and double check, but to shorten this video, I'm not going to double check. But uh, there's the calibration process of a depth mic. Alright, now I'm going to be giving you a, a real scenario here of using the depth micrometers. Um, I have this workpiece here where I have this step in between these two surfaces and I need to measure the depth so what I will do is set my depth mic making sure uh, I have no burrs along here it's a nice flat surface nice sanded everything that needs to be done to it um, set this on here and I will slowly start to work my way down to the floor here and to get down to the bottom that's when you really want to make sure you are not putting too much force when you are turning alright I got my number here I'm going to lock it in and I am currently reading 300 and I would say 90, close to 90, 397,000, a couple tenths. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool tool. Um, guarantee you that if you're working in a machine shop or manufacturing, uh, you will see this tool a lot. Hey, um, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I hope you learned a lot from it. Uh, when it comes to measuring tools, uh, practice makes perfect when it comes to actually using them and reading them. So uh, if you have free time or if you have, you know, any time, practice, you know, reading a depth micrometer. Um, you don't even have to be measuring anything. You can literally just spin the dial here and whatever number it lands on, read it. Um, becoming fluent with measuring tools is a big bonus when it comes to uh, applying for jobs. People like to know that you know how to properly measure.